Hey, my name is Dr. Rachel Ramis. I'm a director on Queen Sugar, and you are watching an OWN Digital Exclusive. Directing Queen Sugar was the most pivotal moment on my journey so far. I've been a filmmaker for my entire adult life, but working as an academic, I was teaching production and directing as a tenured professor in the Deep South. And my episode of Queen Sugar exploded my career in the most beautiful and unexpected ways. I signed with a manager, agents, and have been booked and busy directing television ever since. So when Ava called me, I was in my apartment in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I was grading student projects, I think for my advanced videography class. Um, Ava's call changed everything for me. Uh, I would say about, it, it was decades earlier that I'd pivoted away from industry. I was working as a full-time tenured college professor in Alabama, and I really thought my life's purpose was to take care of my children and work in service of my students. I was teaching craft, helping them develop their voice, their directing skills, and achieve their dreams, but clearly I was wrong. It wasn't the end of the road for my journey. And the good news is that when I got that call, I was not afraid to take a chance on myself. And Ava's call gave me the opportunity to, to take that chance on myself, my talent, my dreams. I pivoted away from academia and now I direct television full time. So that call changed everything and now I'm living my dream. I directed episode 311, Your Passages Have Been Paid. There are so many scenes that I love, especially those with Bianca Lawson, who plays Darla. She's just fantastic in the episode. I mean, all of all of the cast is always fantastic, but the scene that I still remember every word to is the scene where Charlie confronts Micah about his role in the fire. And it's a simple two-hander scene, meaning, you know, two actors talking in a scene, shot, reverse shot but the performances are so good and so real. The way that Dawn Lynn, who plays Charlie, she kind of cocks her head to the side, knowing that Micah got himself in trouble. And you know, Charlie's that mother who will fight for her son and for what's right, but she needs to know that truth. And then the way that Micah dismisses his mom, eyes glued to his phone, texting Nova, you know, that mother-son tension is just so real. That tension, that back and forth show that both of them are, are right, but also wrong. And that's, you know, the tension of, of real relationships. And this seems especially real to me right now. My own son is 15 years old and navigating high school and all the choices that come with that. And life is a lot of drama always, especially with a high school student like Queen Sugar. So that scene really resonates and I, I still show it to students and directing students as an example of, of tension and mother-son relationships and strong performances. And I jumped the line in the scene and did, um, did a lot with a very simple, you know, mother-son scene. So in the four years since I directed episode 311 of Queen Sugar in 2018, which was my first episode of television, I have been booked and so busy. So I left my tenured teaching job. I've directed 16 episodes of television and I just wrapped on my first TV pilot, which honestly only a handful of Latina directors can say. So it has been a very busy few years since directing my first episode of TV on Queen Sugar. Since directing Queen Sugar, I would say I work on shows that ask for hiring recommendations for diverse directors, department heads, lots of women of color. And producers are now more thoughtful about who they hire to direct and to work on the team. So the Ava effect has been a real game changer in terms of directors, but also above and below the line crew. So it's it's incredible what, what Queen Sugar has done. It, it's truly an industry game changer. So a part of myself and my life that I'm trying to own wholeheartedly is joy. I think so many of us have struggled in so many areas of our lives as 
women, as mothers, I'm a solo parent. And usually for most of my adult life, I've been in survival mode. And I am now living in a place where I own my joy. No matter what happens in a day, I find the joy. I spread positivity, you know, in my life, in my work, in everything I do. I lead with good energy, good vibes, and joy. So that's that's how I'm trying to be the best version of myself. To I, I think happiness and joy is revolutionary, especially when you come from people and places where so many struggle and work hard just to survive. So living in joy is really the best version of life right now. Thank you, Queen Sugar. <laughs>